Okay, today we're going to be looking at the Life Chaser 4K dash cam, uh, just newly released. It's got a uh, 4K front and a 1080 rear. Uh, compression, Wi-Fi, GPS. Uh, what's interesting is it also uh, has a parking mode too, which I think the prior one did not. Uh, the, it has both motion and parking uh, for the in case someone bumps into the car, gets near. Let's see what's here first. So that's a note from them. Um, any questions, got an email address. Takes a, a class 10, 128 or higher. There's no, you know, no card that comes with it. Um, talks about inserting it and formatting it. Um, auto power off. How to connect with Wi-Fi. Um, you know, email support as well. All right, what do we got here? So, first thing we got here. A nice little bag. Well, that's actually smaller than what it looks like in the uh, picture on Amazon. So, I guess this is the front-facing camera, and then uh, the back LCD with uh, hard buttons on it. So nice and thin. Let's see what else we got. Lots of cables. All right, here's the suction cup mount. And it, uh, that's how you cause the suction to work. And then uh, adjustable. So it looks pretty standard. Power adapter. Regular USB. And, uh, an angled one, which is good. This is probably the, the rear camera. Yeah, so we got the rear camera and the cable here. Let's see what this looks like. Alright, it's the rear camera. It's nice and uh, small, so it won't uh, be bothersome to look at. Very long cable. Uh, this probably plugs directly into the, the front camera. And we have a uh, USB cable. Might be for plugging it into uh, the computer. I guess this is probably something to do with the mounting bracket for the rear. And then a uh, manual. So Ultra 4K, black box DVR. Uh, fun disclaimer stuff. Your results may vary. So, basically identifying all the uh, buttons, keys and functions, charging and turning on, settings, menu settings, playback mode, uh, at the bottom here about motion detection and parking, again those two can go together. So if someone walks near your car or someone bumps your car, you can probably adjust the sensitivity. And then uh, Wi-Fi, and then talk about the USB interface. Some more settings, AV. And the media, again, SP Class 10, supports up a max of 128. Let's talking about the I think this is the frequency, not the frames per sec. So, uh, pretty pretty thorough. Again, uh, with the camera, um, different connections. Probably the memory card. Probably the power button. Front facing out. Front camera with uh, the inside you'd see with the different buttons. And then uh, I think this is 21, 22 feet long to get to the rear. That's very long. That should be adequate. And then the rear facing uh, 1080 
So I guess you have a couple different options here with either a sticker or, or screw it in. So looking uh, forward to setting this up and uh, trying it out.